Boy, three, two, one. Hi, Linda. Welcome to Mr. Dear Linda Day 22. There's something really cool I could say bingo like about 22, but I I don't know my bingo lingo. Oh my god, I didn't even wasn't even intending to say it. Like, sorry, I'm a bit crazy and tired. I didn't sleep for a second last night. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just decided to get up at seven in the morning and do my makeup. Which I'm sure like has it completely melted off my face by now because that was like 12 hours ago. So, okay, goss. Well, yeah, that's cool. That's not- <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted there. John Guller just came in. He was supposed to go get ingredients for yeah. chocolate biscuit. Chocolate biscuits. He was supposed to get ingredients for- He was supposed to get ingredients for chocolate biscuit cake and he's come back with minstrels and chocolate chip cookies which just I don't know what's gonna happen if we melt minstrels like I'm sure they'll melt but there'll still be shells there anyway so what was I gonna say okay so goss oh I loved talking to you yesterday that was great and um, I've passed on word to Rachel as to what you meant by payphone now we both talk full on payphone which I blame you for so I'm pretty sure you said payphone not like prepay or whatever you call that phone or no, pay, no. And I passed the number on to Kate Dillon, so I'm sure if you haven't got calls today, you'll be getting them soon. Um, God. Um, a certain Maeve we know is apparently not too keen on someone who I have no idea who it is. Someone we know is not too keen on someone who I have no idea who it is. So the, ooh. Oh, a man that I was talking about the other day, she's apparently David Bowie's wife. I think, does that make me like her better? But no, it just makes me feel sorry for David Bowie because she just seems so cold. I was actually watching over that day. I think it was day 19. Oh, I seem so lame. First time they're talking about the supermodel from Project Runaway Canada and I'm saying I don't like her. And then it just went into me saying, who's prettier, Grace Kelly or Angelina Jolie? And I was like, am I really that kind of person? We get out of town, but I guess that's just the deal. Stop it, go away. I, this is why I should do it in the studio, but I was just too lazy. Um, oh, and also a good thing. Mike was flicking through the channels today and he noticed that finally the show Lobster Men has, take, has, a, has read my letter. They've now changed the name of the show to Deadliest Catch Lobster Men, which suits much better because I don't know why it would never go into my mind. I'm sure I told you this before and complained about it, do you? But every time I flicked to that channel, I was like, half lobster, half men. I looked like a fool. I'd watch it for a second and I'd be like, this is not half lobster, half man. I don't see why you call them lobster men. You don't, you call someone who catches fish, fishermen. You don't call them fish men. That was, it's just implying that the show is so much more exciting than it is. Get out of town. You're not supposed to comment on this. Oh. Uh, oh, and now we'll go over to other news. And finally, a musical instrument shop is holding auditions for sales staff. Instead of CVs, Music Maker wants applicants to bring a musical instrument along to its shop at 29 Exchequer Street in Dublin tomorrow. They don't have to know how to play it, but they must try to sell it in a three minute speed audition. Sounds really spooky, I once had this. So and now I guess we'll go over to our correspondent for our interview of the day. Thank you, Evelyn, and I'm here with Jenny Sheridan. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Evelyn. How's it going? Great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Now tell me, what's going on in your life? Well, in my life, I am just preparing a massage DVD with a very healthy camera person called Evelyn Suit, Suit, Suit. Suit, Suit, Suit. Yeah, do you know her? Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, she's a great massage person. Okay, and now tell me, what's the goss around Clontar? I'm very, very old. I wouldn't let the goss in Clontar for the last year. I don't do much. Hang on, give us something juicy. <laughs> Jinx lost her collar. Lynx? My pussy cat lost her collar. Oh. And I tried to put it on her, and she tried to bite me. The little kid, but I saw her, I got a collar's back on her. And we have a new hedgehog. Okay, Paul tell me more about the hedgehog. He has prickles. He's very prickly. But his father is an albino. And his mother is brown, and he is blonde. But he's not combined with nothing. That is weird. So, are there any affairs around the neighbourhood? Um, I'm looking for one. So, if you, <laughs> you let me know. <laughs> okay, definitely. I'll ask around. Do now, me. finally, what would you like to say to Linda? Hello, Linda. Hope you're having a nice time. Oh, you're there. Hi, Linda. I'm looking at Evan all the time. Hope you're having a lovely time over in 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 France. I'm not working too hard, and we'll see you in September. And you might have a massage yourself there now. Brilliant stuff. They're back to you in the studio, Evelyn. 
that's great. We're here back in the studio now, uh, where I'm going to go over to our music segment. Today we'll be playing the music Blazing Squad Flip Reverse. Um, what I'll be showing is I found old footage on my camera of, remember last April Fool's Day, the only April Fool prank I did is I remembered halfway through the day and I sent you a text saying Jay-Z was dead and you didn't even fall for it. Um, but the April Fool's before that I put in much more effort and I found the footage of it, so here's my April Fool's Day of two years ago. Okay, I'm about to pull the best prank of all time, right? Even though it's not really a prank, it's just kind of getting butter and putting it in my sister's face. Because this is something I've had planned for a long time. Okay, what? See, we were discussing it one day. And one day I was like, wouldn't it be so gross if someone would butter in your face? So immediately, I was like, oh, genius. So I put it in my little diary. See, it's my full day. I only had eyeliner to write at the time. Rub butter on fire. That was my sister's name. Um, so we're gonna go do this now. So I've got to get all buttered up in my hand. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. Let's just do this. Oh, okay. Okay. So here we go. I can't touch the one with those buttons. Oh, I guess we're just gonna have to go with this. Do you want to see the coolest shot ever we got yesterday? Oh no! Do you want me to see the coolest shot ever? It's the one we got after the Tom Kennedy shot. Oh no, I rubbed butter in your face! Look what I did to you! Oh dear! Oh, don't, don't, oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'll let you get back to your study or whatever you're doing. <laughs> Oh my god, I can smell it. That was so crazy. You forgot about it. I remember all that. I was like, okay, I'm not fine. I was like, oh my god, I can't even talk to this. Oh, I just got my. That's genius. Man, wait, you can't use the bathroom yet. I've got to wash my hand. Yeah. Ugh. I'm trying to press the unrecord button. Oh, here we go. Oh, check out the app. You're back. Why are you, why you just open your left eye? No, because then I might have to my right one by accident. Oh, that was Do you look in the mirror for a second? Okay, Elsa.